Hey guys, what's going on? Storm1253. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, I'll be showing you guys some ticks and trips, uh, or t tricks and tips <laughs> on how to do the D Machine Easter Egg easy in solo, duo, and quads. Um, in this gameplay, I did do it in solo though, so keep that in mind. First, we will be showing you what weapons you'd want to use in uh while doing the easter egg so like you're starting weapons and all that um now all these are optional you don't have to keep them but these are the recommended ones that i have done so for the assault rifles you want to use the ak-47 and the craig 6 as both of those are really good really good fire rate and damage output um you don't really want to use an smg but the 74u would probably be the best one um the m16 and the type 63 are really good all the LMGs I have found pretty decent, but those also have really low damage and you're really slow with them, so be aware of that. Um, none of the snipers, none of the pistols. I recommend the Hauer, though. The Hauer is really good, but both those shotguns are good. Um, and then really after that, you don't really want to use any of those for the boss fight. Now, for your field upgrade, if you are going solo, you're going to want to do Ether Shroud just in case you get heavily overrun. Or you just really need to make a quick getaway. So Ether Shroud's really good. Uh, if you're doing a duo, do Ether Shroud, like two Ether Shrouds or Ether Shroud Ring of Fire. For trios, you want one Healing Aura, and then once again Ether Shroud Fire Ring of Fire. And um, for quads, you're gonna want one Ring or one Healing Aura or two Healing Auras, Ring of Fire and ether shroud or you can change the ring of fire for ether shroud for the weapon classes you want to just go ahead and upgrade your melee tier three everything just kind of man because if you because it changes your butt of the gun to a bowie knife um you do want healing aura level three if you are going to use it though uh ether shroud is also really useful level three and so is ring of fire for the perks that you want to level up to three, you want Juggernaut, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, and Stamina Up. Because those are going to be the four main perks you're going to mainly use anyways. So, like, why not? Elemental Pop isn't really essential. Uh, neither is Deadshot. But if you really want to use them, be my guest, I guess. Um, now for the ammo mods... You're going to, uh, Brain Rot is useful, but for the Megatons, you want Dead Wire. For the Dogs, you want Napalm Burst. But for the Zombies itself, use Brain Rot. So now that you have, uh, everything that you would need for the beginning of this, uh, Easter egg, you can now go into your game and start playing. So now you now if you're playing solo you want to go to the end of round seven or the end of round eight actually for uh two people three and four people you guys want to go to the end of round eight nine or ten it really just is up to your squad depending how round how high of a round you guys want to you know do all these easter egg steps but the reason why you want to wait into the starting room for this is so then you can get the entire map open and you can do everything on that round that you get out of because the earlier you do do this easter egg the less difficult it will be because all the zombies have less health the megatons have less health and also if you do this easter egg with less players less megatons and zombies will spawn so then you don't really have to worry about you know getting fully set up and all that you can just easily go in get the easter egg done and then you can you know finish the easter egg so i really recommend taking this route except you know i failed to jump right there you are able to jump right there but this is just the fastest way to do it if you can manage to jump right there as i fail but eh, it's okay it's okay so after you have turned on the particle accelerator you now need to wait for, you know, this is just Pack-A-Punch. Everybody knows how to get Pack-A-Punch. The map legit tells you how to get Pack-A-Punch. 
so um you can either go through med bay i like going through here just so then i can destroy all the crystals um because the crystals can give you free things but like here in the gameplay i nearly forgot about it but the crystals can give you free things such as perks guns like right there it dropped a knife which I didn't pick up because I didn't really want a green knife. But they could drop you perks, weapons. I've gotten the wonder weapon out of this a few times. Uh, I've gotten speed cola out of this a few times as well. Um, They could also give you points, armor, ammo. You know, the crystals are just helpful. And then I think in this gameplay, I had even skipped the pond ones because, you know, it was right here. But I might be wrong on that. See, it yes, dropped an M60, and I just picked it up so I could have an extra weapon. Just in case my Hauer here runs out of ammo. Which, I mean, during this, it's kind of hard as ammo is essentially a really common drop. I even bought Jug because I wasn't doing the Coffin Dance Easter egg as... It ends round, and well, every time I've done the Coffin Dance Easter Egg while attempting the Easter Egg, uh, I had just kept dying over and over and over and over, and I just could never finish it. So, I mean, if you want to do the Coffin Dance, be my guest, but I don't recommend it at all. Okay, so right after you go down here, you pick up the pack a punch bar, you know, you go grab a pack a punch, and then you are now done with the first step of the Easter egg after you've built the. Well, okay, after this, you're supposed to build the Ether Shroud. But after you have built the Ether Shroud, I am actually going to show you a nifty little trick. Strike team, report. Okay, what so now happened? that you have gotten the pack a punch, I'm going to show you a helpful tip on the ether scope. If the portal spawns right there in the power room, the ether scope will spawn right by the fast travel in particle accelerator. If it spawns up there in the penthouse, it will spawn right there under the stairs and spawn. And then if it spawns in crash site or pond or whatever, it spawns back there. Um, then it will spawn on the crash site plane wing type thing. I don't really know what it's called. The cockpit, I guess. No, not the cockpit. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Okay, I'm, I'm not a big, you know, enthusiast on airplanes. Um, so, uh, just so then you guys know, I am not faking here. Watch. That one spawned in power room. Bam. This one spawns right there. One thing you do not want to do is when the dark ether spawns, do not stand on top of that fast travel. I have done that not once, but twice, and each time I had fell through the map. It is not a pleasant thing. I was actually in a game with a friend once, and we were trying to do the easter egg, and I was showing him how to get the electric upgrade, and all of a sudden, boom, I fall through the map. Now, with the dogs, you want to save at least one or two. The reason for this is it's going to be used for the gas upgrade for the Wonder Weapon later. Um, so then right after this, you're going to want to come up there, grab that part. You know, it, that, that was the part I was having trouble with because I did not know what it was. <sighs> Dang it. Sorry. And then right after that, you want to head down to Pack Punch, and you want to build the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Wonder Weapon. Or not the Wonder Weapon, the Ether Scope. Now, the reason why I told you to save one dog as well is that when you come down here on the opposite side of Deadshot Daiquiri, you want to come up there, you want one of the dogs to jump out and hit you, or at least get near you, and kill the dogs or kill a dog so then the gas can suck up because you don't need the canister in there a lot of people think that you need the canister but you do not need the canister when you have to fill that up that is and and now that i'm looking through the recording there is one part on this easter egg i forgot so a portal will spawn up in med bay and you need to build the ether scope a portal will spawn right by the door in med bay 
you'll need to find three different things. One of them is right under where I'm at right now in the computer. It's right behind Stamina. There will be another one in the trial room, and then there will be another one right where you built the ether scope. You need to interact with them after grabbing the golden bug by that computer, and just interact with them all. Sorry, I was talking so fast. I was trying to get through that clip. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to show you how to get the wonder weapon. It's actually very, very simple. I think this is actually an old gameplay that I'd done a few days ago, actually. I don't know, it might be. So, what you're going to want to do for this is, um, you need to kill one of the Megaton, actually you need to kill the Megaton and its splitter, and then after that you need to grab the gold card, go to weapons, and put in the key card there, and you will have your, uh, D.I.E. remote. After you picked up the DIE remote, train and spawn, go to that hole I was at, and activate it, and it'll start sucking zombies. The way how you know it's done is that it will say, fire at maximum, fire when ready. Or, uh, whatever, at storage at maximum, I think, fire when ready. And then, weapon storage maximum, fire when ready. And then after that, you're able to go up to it and pick it up. I trade the M60 here because I, you know, need the wonder weapon. So, after that, that, that's how you get the wonder weapon. And now, after you have put in the code into the computer and everything, you need the four wonder weapons. This is how you get the ice one right here. So you need to shoot that box, a flask will drop, and then, god damn it. Uh, then you need a Megaton to shoot that mushroom. Which I forgot. Nice. Um. So here's how you do the gas one. <laughs> so how you get the gas is that you need to shoot one deal. And then you need to suck that gas canister. Um, I used my ether shard because I didn't want to, you know, die. So I grabbed the gas canister. Then you need to make your way into weapons, and then you remember where we put the, uh, dog zombie gas, um, in, and it sucked it up and everything? You have to bring the, uh, canister where that thing was into the nook room, or weapons, whatever you would like to call it. Um, you just go up to that. Once again, opposite side of Deadshot Daiquiri. You place it in there, and it'll take a few seconds. It, it's not very long. Like, bam, I just put it in there, and now it's done. It, it wasn't a very long process. So uh, after it is done, you go pick it up, and then you need to make your way back up into Crash Site. Um, what you're going to want to do in Crash Site is you're going to want to find a little box for the weapon upgrades that is right across from the spaz 12 wall by there you put the gas canister on it and then you shoot it and then you now have the gas upgrade for the um die granted i didn't pick it up right there because you, you have to wait for a second on some of these before you're actually able to you know pick it up it, it's dumb really i hate it but oh well Kinda have to do it. Now for the Easter egg, when you get the elements, I recommend doing this right after you get them. For the Nova 5 one, looking at the door, it is the one to the right. You actually have to hit them. The ice is a bit difficult sometimes though. So you kinda, kinda have to keep that one in mind. So for the fire, you need to shoot the fuse box. Actually, you could do this um, while you're getting pack, actually. So you shoot that fuse box there then the portal for the fire one will always spawn right there in pond so after you go into the dark ether if you haven't grabbed the fuse already make your way to the fuse but if you have grabbed the fuse already then you want to make your way to weapons so after you have grabbed that fuse you want to make your way to weapons and you want to go to this little area that I'll show you right here in a second maybe Oh yeah, okay, so right here I actually had the Overlord, or Modoc, whatever you want to call him, uh, Megaton shoot it, because it actually does work, which is weird, but 
you know, I ain't going to question. So now you want to make your way down to uh, med bay, or not med bay, weapons or nook room. And you want to put in your fuse on the, on the thing facing dead shot. I am losing my voice. Um, so sometimes it'll take a little bit, sometimes it won't, you know, it's just kind of a, it's a process, really, and then after you have done that, you don't need to do any more steps for the fire, you just have to go to the bed of this truck, there will be a box, and then you shoot, and, or you don't shoot it, you just hold X on it, and then it'll switch to the fire upgrade. Now, the, unlike the Nova 5 where it sucks unless you have an insta-kill where it instantly kills them, the fire one will one-shot Megatons and split them until round 18, which is really, really handy if I do say so myself. Now, we are going to show you how to do the ice upgrade. This one isn't very hard. You just kind of put... The once the shroom's done from the Megaton shooting it, you set it there, and then you have to wait a minute. Uh, after that, the flask will have a yellow outline. And it will also, the inside the flask will also be blue. We will check back with you on that here in a second. I am pretty sure, yep. See, once it's done, it will look exactly like this, uh, how it looked in that pause screen right there. So now, after you have grabbed the flask, you want you want to go downstairs to Med Bay, and on your way to the particle accelerator in Med Bay, you want to go ahead freeze off the chains on that, and then right after that, you go in there and you have the cryo emitter or the ice upgrade. Now this one, I'm pretty sure, is the one right there on the right. Oh, it would be the one on the left. See, sometimes it's a bit iffy on that one. I don't know what it is about it. Sometimes it will work first try. Sometimes it won't. And now, for the electric upgrade, possibly the best one ever. So this one, you are going to need the shockwave. You cannot do this with any of the elements. You need the shockwave. I cannot stress that one enough. So... What you want to do is that you want to take that fast travel. I don't think I had enough points as fast travels are going to be your best friend during this. Trust me. Fast travels are going to be a beauty for you. So after you have used that fast travel, you want to go upstairs. You can open up the stairs right there, but it's not essential at all. And then you want to suck up the crystal right there on the top of penthouse. Go down, and then if you have the points, use the fast travel. That's what I did here, but I also ran out of points, so I couldn't use any more of the fast travels. Um, so now, every time you have grabbed a crystal, you need to go back to this box where the wonder weapon will be. You shoot that, and then you need to go up and into the crash site right outside of the door. Um, as soon as you are outside of the door by crush site, you can then just go ahead, suck up the crystal there. It's immediately to your left. It is hard to miss as these crystals are bright yellow. So you just go right there, you suck it up, and then you move it. I go to the pond crash site so then I can unlock that fast travel as I haven't used it yet um you want people to like be while you're doing this if nobody's gone through the pond fast travel you want to use it as trust me it will be useful when you go for the uh crystal in pond once again go back to the box and shoot it now if you don't get all these crystals at once you are going to have to go through the portal once again but the uh, crystal for pond is 
just right on the side. Like, here, all you had to do is just go through the portal, then move to the left, and bam, you, you have the crystal right there. Now, you have to be in the uh, dark ether to do this, though, sadly. But, hey, it's whatever, though. Okay, so see, I'm going to show you where the crystal for pond is. You just kind of move your way up here, and it, it's legit right there. See, not, not a very hard thing to see. But you cannot suck it up if you do have ammo in it, though, which does suck. And if you have zero ammo in it, don't worry, you still can use it. Um, I don't know what it is. It will waste your ammo when you go to... Uh, shoot it back out but if you don't have ammo in the first place it will gain 15 ammo in it and you'll just have ammo for it I guess I don't know but right after you're done with that you can just bam pop it in and now for this one it is right by the ice if you've been doing it in the order I've been doing it it'll be just the last little pillar thingy sticking out and then now you will need a no 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 subject yet see I, I thought this time I thought this time guys don't worry we're okay so I had forgotten to record this but you want to go through the ether portal um like after you have shot that last deal you want to go through the portal that is going in between uh, med bay and the particle accelerator go through that go right where those guys were and then hold uh, X on them and then a purple wrench will drop on the ground after you're done you want to go to the tank whack it three times shoot the zombie that's on the top and then throw a semtex onto the lid right there then you will grab the giant uh, golden ball there so if you have teammates tell them to cover you but if you're alone, you can pop your ether shroud while you have this in your hands. So after you have shot, or after the tank has shot in that golden ball, you want to make it to med bay, and you want to place it into that red thing right there. Now you will need a, a test subject, which is a megaton. Uh, for this, you will need to split the megaton. And you need to put both of its uh, halves into that chamber or into the blue circle that I just gone past right now. Now, sometimes it is a little difficult. Like, see, that one went to ease, but I'm pretty sure this next one here was real, real difficult. Um, sometimes they'll. Actually, the entire time they will shoot at you. Uh, sometimes it's really, really easy. As there's a lot of places where you could dodge their attacks. Like right here behind the speed pulling machine, which I failed at miserably. Um, there's a lot of places where you could hide. But you want to get them right in the center of that. And then they will both suck up there. Um, now, if your mega... Like after one of the megatons go up there and they drop a, a usual megaton will drop you will possibly need to get another one as that one had died. Now, you want to go ahead and do what I did. Just go ahead, go to the computer and activate it, and it'll just start transforming them. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this part right here. Now after that, um, a portal will spawn up here in the living room. This is the very last part for this easter egg. So right now you are at 
the ending step for this. Anomaly. There will be an anomaly right there. Process. You activate it, and then I'll let you guys hear this. I know you cannot hear me, but I must ask you. Miss The Mega Group has given me my orders. I am to restart that infernal machine. In this, I have no say. It is my duty. When it is reactivated, I do not know what will happen. That information is considered very much above my rank, but considering the precautions the others now take, I must face the possibility that I may never see you again. I hope this is not true. I hope that nothing will change, that the world will stay as it is. But I fear I am opening a box that cannot be closed. I will see you both again. So now a yellow picture will drop and you will pick up that. Then it will teleport you down to the pack room where you will be greeted by Olav right by the Pack-a-Punch. Once again... I will let you guys hear this one as it kind of goes off with whatever Olaf was talking about here. Now you have your quote-unquote, um, uh, boss fight. This isn't very hard if you are solo. If you have four people, though, more zombies and more megaton splitters will spawn. The only real megatons is the megaton overlord. Um, see, if you guys did everything I did in this solo match, uh, I had essentially done this on round 18. Which is the earliest I have done this Easter egg on. Um, I even had a purple uh, Hauer, and I had a, or and it was double papped as well. So you're also going to want C4 and monkeys. Uh, the reason for the monkeys is just so then you know if you have to absolutely save yourself, you can. You can just chuck a monkey real quick before you get cornered, and they'll go to him. Um, so, now every time you get, or every time you think, oh hey, there's no zombies spawning, what's going on? Uh, they're attacking Olaf. Olaf does not take damage at all. Uh, he just slows down. So if you guys want to do this really, really, really fast, um, you're going to want a person focusing on Olaf. If you're doing this four person at least, you want a person focusing on protecting Olaf, and then you want... People attacking, you know, the Megatons and stuff like that. And by the way, there are other ways to get the Wonder Weapon, just in case you are wondering, such as the Trials Crystals Box. Um, all those you can get the Wonder Weapon from. Now, there are three stages. None of these get harder. They're all about the same difficulty. Um, Olaf just goes to different places. They all take about the same time. If there are no zombies on them, once again, it goes faster. Um, I recommend, let's see, this was kind of dumb how I used my wonder weapon on the zombies. Um, if I were you, I would use your actual weapon weapon on the zombies, and then focus, uh, 
your wonder weapon on the megatons just because then you'll have more ammo and also if one, only one person has the wonder weapon this is boss fight's actually very ammo efficient for him as if he ever needs ammo for the wonder weapon because he's out and he needs to fight the megatons then he can just go up to Olav and just suck up all the zombies there. It's again very ammo efficient. Uh, if you're wondering what happens if you run out of explosives to protect Olav just in case he gets overrun by hell. Um, sometimes when you kill zombies the equipment will drop. Sometimes it can drop Semtex, Frag, C4, yada yada yada. Um, but, like, I tried to use monkeys here in this gameplay to try to get the zombies off Orlov, but that didn't work at all. <laughs> and I don't know why. And also, it sees how you are here in the Particle Accelerator. If you ever need to rebuild your armor, you can. Uh, if you need to upgrade your weapon, you can. See, I didn't even buy armor this round, which was very stupid of me, and I like, think about it. But... You know, in my eyes, while I was recording this, I didn't really want armor as I was trying to upgrade my weapon rarity almost the entire time. Um, honestly, that's all the really tips I can give you, really. I mean, I guess try to stay away from the Megaton Blast, though, as they do hurt you a good amount mostly in this gameplay where I didn't realize I was being attacked until I looked at my health and it was at four health and I was like oh god no run um also your entire team might want to self res including you because self reses help a lot actually I had found that they had helped so much during this easter egg um I mean that's all I really got if you guys did enjoy the video and this video did help you uh hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace i forgot to mention on this part except for when i accidentally pulled out my chopper gunner uh, you want to take the this exact route right here, or else those white tornadoes will kill you. Um, if you get near the white tornadoes, they will actually hurt you, but this one will kill you. So, don't get the, near those white tornadoes. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Technology triumphs once again. Raptor 1 on the ground, Requiem. Strike team, we gotta go. Let's move it! This is Raptor 1. Strike team on board for extract. Requiem, Alpha site just went nuclear. Facility has been destroyed. Good work, Strike team. We've closed the breach. But I got a feeling Omega Group is just getting started.